Welcome to Math Oopsie number two. Did you multiply a fraction by one? Well, that's not going to get you anywhere, is it? Ha 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 ha. If I have A times B over C, and you were thinking that means A times B over A times C, really? Really? Did you think that would be the case? Because I'm thinking that the A's will cancel out, and then I'll get that stuff equal to B divided by C. Watch, I'll cancel the A's for you. See, here's the problem. What you're doing doesn't make any sense, so don't do it anymore. We have to instead figure out what it means when you multiply that fraction by A. See, B over C is supposed to be multiplied by A. Then the numerator is the bidness in the fraction. If you're taking something like, um, like A times B over C, then it ought to be A times B over C. You can just say it and it makes so much sense. What if you've got C over D times E? Oh, where's that E gonna go? In the numerator and the denominator? No, it would cancel back out. It'd be like multiplying by one, but you're trying to multiply by E, not one. So I'd get E times C over D. Did that make you uncomfortable? Instead, we could say C times E over D. Okay. 